Hello friends and welcome to Lot of Tech once again. So today we have the Sony MDR XB55 AP extra base earphones from Sony. And a lot of you have been requesting me to review some Sony earphones and this is kind of a model that is very popular in the extra base category. So as you can see that the price mentioned on the box is 2490 rupees and these earphones I would say are bit on an expensive side. So I got this from Amazon for 2090 rupees for the grayish white color. Then you get the other two colors like the black and the blue which are a little bit less expensive so beginning with the unboxing as you will open the box you will find the white earphones on the top and i was kind of bored with all kind of black earphones in the past so i ordered this white color then you get a little bit of usual paperwork some few extra earbuds and a sony branded pouch so moving on with the design and construction, the earphones are made completely out of plastic and outside the each earbuds you will find this uh, shiny metal ring. Now I don't know if it's really metal or some kind of a chrome finish but it looks really nice and premium with this white color. Also both the earphones are uh, very marked with the Sony branding in big letters and also the left and the right markings are very distinct. As you can see that the left one is marked with a white color and the right one is marked with a red color. Now as you can see that these earphones are angled earphones and whenever you're using angled earphones it's always a confusion which earpieces will go into the left ear and which one will go in the right ear but in this case thanks to the Sony design team that whenever you will hold the earphones in your hand you will yourself come to know if you are holding the right or the wrong earpiece. So this is something that I cannot explain in words but you will yourself come to know when you will use the product. So moving down further from the earpiece you will come across this wire that is neither completely rounded nor completely flat but it's somewhere in the between I would say and this wire is actually not uh, very smooth but it has sort of a very small little grooves called serrations over the entire length. So whatever it is the earphones are completely tangle free and you won't come across uh, problems of getting knots in the earphones. Also these earphones come with a microphone and uh, the model number that I mentioned here is XB MDR 55 AP. Now there's one more model that comes without the microphone that is 500 rupees cheaper and that is just MDR XB 55. So before buying the earphones just make sure that you are buying the right one. Also these earphones have this small clip that you can use to manage both the earpiece and avoid it getting tangled and at the end you get uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack that is gold plated. Now here I would like to talk something about the earbuds. So if you observe that the Sony earphones have the earbuds that has a very small tiny hole at the end. While if you observe the earphones from JBL T210 or from other companies like Signature Acoustics or maybe any other brand, you will notice that they have a big hole at the center and that actually attracts a lot of dust and wax and that is always visible. So the Sony earphones are actually very capable of hiding these kind of dust and wax and the earphones are always going to look neat and clean. Now coming on to the functionality of the button on the inline microphone, you can actually use this button to end and receive calls which is kind of very obvious and also if you are in the music player application then you can single click to play and pause a song, you can double click to move on to the next track and you can triple click to come back to the previous track. So coming on to the technical specifications, these earphones contain 12mm drivers and these are a little bit bigger in size as compared to the other earphones that I have like for example the JBL T210 and the Signature Acoustic C12 which have around 8.5mm drivers. Now bigger in size does not mean that they are not comfortable to wear, they are like very comfortable to wear but just in case your ears are too sensitive or you are not comfortable with earphones that have a bigger size. So you should keep this into consideration because you are going to buy an earphone that worth around 2000 rupees and I don't want your money to be wasted just because they are causing pain in your ears. Now coming on to the most important factor which is audio quality and before moving to the audio quality I, should, I would like to give you here a few tips that would be really helpful if you want to get the best out of your earphones. So the tip number one is that change the earbuds according to the size of your ears because if you are not using the proper size you will not get isolated from the external noise. Tip number two, download the music at least in 320kbps at mp3 format because if you are not giving the best input to your earphones, you will not get the best output. And the last tip is that a lot of things have changed in the Android Pie, especially the surround sound effect and so you should have to really um, turn on the equalizer and tune the earphones accordingly in your earphones. Like in my, I am using a Google Pixel 2 XL 
Apple and in my phone the surround sound effect is very dominating you might be using a phone from a different company so you have to tune the earphones according to your phone now comes the important part the sound the audio quality now these earphones really have a very powerful bass they have a bass which is greater than my JBL T210 and also the signature acoustic C12 the JBL T110 JBL T160 and also the JBL E15 now these are some of the like very good earphones from the JBL brand and I have like used at least I am having 2 or 3 of them and used many but uh, none, none of the other earphones comes near to the, signet, the Sony earphones apart from that it normally if you I talk about the boat bass at 225 so those are the earphones that come around 500 rupees and they have a very good bass but they are suppressing the vocals and the mid-tones and whenever the bass is too high the vocals and mid-tones even gets more suppressed but in this case they are maintaining a very good balance you will get a very powerful bass and they won't suppress any kind of vocals and mid-tones so friends this was all about the video thank you so much for watching i hope you like the review and just in case you have so many doubts or you want to have any queries you can post your questions in the comment thank you so much for watching lot of text see you in the next one